check this out I'm not a drag queen makeup expert I this is the first time I actually tried it I'm starting with the eyes already because I'm transforming this from the other look I did earlier but all you need is Elmer's glue to glue up your eyebrows and you can push the hair up or to the sides depends on your brow hair growth then slap on foundation and concealer I wish I had the some more um, coverage on them but I don't have the products currently with me to do that but I did the best I could you get the gist how to do it and then you need to draw on fake brows so what you need to do that use the beginning of your brow your normal brow and then go above your normal brow and then you can add more I'm using white pencil because that's gonna like blend into the makeup I'm gonna do afterwards and I kind of wanted to add that even more extra coverage. You could also use the, I used some color corrector. I had the yellow color corrector, but you know, this, I could have spent more time and probably did more on that. I just wanted to go on with my drag makeup. But um, there is this, um, some, like special effects products that I think could be helpful for that but you if you just have foundation glue you can still do it so then I, well, I did the eyeliner around my eyes for this look and you see I'm doing this sort of like a butterfly shape eye look and you can you know, drag makeup, I guess, it just needs to be super bold. There's no like specific one way of correct way of doing it. It just has to be exaggerated eyes, eyelashes, tall brows, bold lips usually, and um, bold blush. And, um, you know, I chose the pink lipstick because I think it's just kind of like the classic queen favorite. But you can, I mean, I've seen some like purples, dark, almost, you know, almost blackish tones that they use sometimes. Anything bold is good. And then sparkles, of course. You want to add glitter. Don't use glitter that's not meant for eyes. That's going to hurt your eyes because that glitter is sharp. Make sure you get the glitter for professional use, for eye use. I'm using MAC glitter here. Super fun. This look could be used for New Year's look even without doing the drag or brows if you want. Then I'm also um, adding extra um, dimension, you know, going way over my natural lip lip contour to make your lips more bigger and just bigger. Just make them pop more. And of course the blush. Now you could go as hard as you want or you know stay more on the natural side but definitely pink coral tones it's gonna be great and contour you can go much more with contour than what i did it's really up to you if you want to be more natural looking drag or you want to be more you know sharp lines looking drag it's okay to have sharp lines with contour with drag makeup i chose not to but it's up to you that's pretty much it and then you know you can add the gloss as well on the lips using max lip mix my favorite gloss ever I need to reorder some stuff i want to get their matte lip gloss thing or not gloss matte cover too but lip gloss is gonna make it even more pop. That's it. Have fun, experiment, and be that queen, yes! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow. I'll see you next one.